everyone, and welcome to another Porn News Today, Porn News Alert. I'm Alexandra, also known as Monica Foster. Now, I want to thank one of my followers, Daryl, for bringing this particular article to my attention. The mainstream media outlet, The Daily Dot, just featured in a very interesting piece, which centers around Brie Olson. It's entitled, Brie Olson's Untold Story. Now, before I read this article that Brie Olson wrote, which is supposedly an account of her time within the porn industry and her time leaving the porn industry, my first thought upon reading this was, wow, Brie Olson is going to become a truth-telling anti-porn activist. Not quite. In my opinion, this is an attempt by the porn industry to create a quote-unquote anti-porn activist, but without the element of anti-porn. I learned that there are some things that no matter how open-minded you are, other people will never be and that you shouldn't do. And I send a very strong message to young girls don't do porn because as much I understand it, you want to embrace your sexuality, you want to say, screw the man, screw whatever, like I can do what I want with my body, but you're just going to have a life of crap in front of you and dealing with people and companies and, you know, there's, companies are allowed to turn you down for work because of anything they want and you, you know they have morality clauses you can never work with children after you do porn you can never work in a medical field after you do porn and these are things that teenage girls don't think about you think that you're a teenager it's fun you're making money and that's the truth it is and there's nothing wrong with porn but how people treat you for the rest of your life. It's not worth it. At the end of the article, Brie Olson specifically states that her biggest regret was leaving the porn industry. Um, in addition to that, she blames society for her having a hard time since leaving the porn industry rather than the actual root of the problem, which is the individual's who dub themselves as porn professionals who make up the porn industry. The reality is that not only has the porn industry hurt Brie Olson, the porn industry has hurt and been incredibly detrimental to our society. Porn is a psychological drug. It's a highly addictive psychological drug that has been fed freely to the masses actually via a company that once Brie Olson was a spokesperson for, a company by the name of Pornhub, which has millions probably of free porn videos that anyone in the United States can freely view, unfortunately even if they're a minor. On April 12th, 2013, Mike South writes the following, Pornhub Cabal signs a pig, a spokesperson, I don't beat up performers who work for man-win companies. I get it, you have to make a living. I even like Kieran. But to sign on as the public face of piracy in our industry? Well, that makes you pretty desperate. That or you just completely lack any morals. So when Pornhub needed a spoke sow, they knew right where to go. Congratulations, Brie. You give pigs a bad name. Now, it seems to me that Brie Olson is attempting to ask society to not only freely accept her, but to accept porn as being normal, and it's not. Porn is sex trafficking. And Brie Olson actually is the proof of that via her time with Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Look at these two, wow. Who's got it better than me? What do you love about these two? What's not to love? Everything, every shell, every memory, every 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 future, every, all of it. You're like the new Hugh Hefner here with your team. He's an amateur. Yeah, I called them. He tools. started. <laughs> he started when he was like 90. He's a trailblazer and a pioneer. And I'm honored to be mentioned in the same sentence with him. The porn industry promoted and marketed Brie Olson via her porn videos specifically 
for the purpose of marketing her to the general public as a prostitute. And unfortunately, guess who purchased Brie Olson? Charlie Sheen. Now the question is, what will Brie Olson do now? Will she follow in the steps of um, a young woman who she actually started out in the industry with via the porn company Adam and Eve? Will she follow in the footsteps of Caden Cross? Caden Cross and Brie Olson used to like to pig out together back when they were both signed as contract stars to the porn studio Adam and Eve. You know, really when I think about it, she probably could become a Caden Cross Trench Codex contract star because Charlie Sheen's most recent porn star girlfriend, Brett Rossi, is signed to um, Trench Codex. Shortly after HIV positive Charlie Sheen's latest ex-girlfriend, porn star Brett Rossi, went public in regards to her time having unprotected sex with Charlie Sheen, porn star Caden Cross's porn studio, Trench Coat X, signed Brett Rossi as their newest contract star. Now, Brie Olson wants to state that it's been mainstream society only that's given her a hard time since she's worked in the porn industry, but that's not true. Quite a few porn industry staples have had some very harsh words for Brie Olson over the years. And Mike South, a veteran porn blogger, went as far as to actually bully her on his blog. In the year 2008, veteran porn blogger Luke Ford reports the following about Mike South. Mike South says, Now, we have publicists, though, who write what are really press releases and advertisements in the name of their contract girls. I have yet to read Brie Olson's column in Genesis Magazine, but I will bet my last dollar she doesn't write a word of it. Ditto, columns written under Jesse Jane's name. Let's be honest here. If these porn chicks could write, they wouldn't be porn chicks. Then Luke Ford goes on to question, why is Mike South calling Jesse Jane a fraud? How does he know she doesn't write her own shit? And even if she doesn't, why call her out on it? What's he have against her to try and harm her reputation? Same with Brie Olson. But here's the best line of them all from his little rant. Let's be honest here. If these porn chicks could write, they wouldn't be porn chicks. That line speaks volumes about his feelings towards the women in this industry, and it's too bad really, because I've met some smart-ass bitches in this business that have no problem writing their own shit. On August 27th of 2010, Mike South writes the following. Adam and Eve parts company with Miss Piggy, Brie Olson. This one has been brewing for a while, says my source at Adam and Eve. The source said her behavior had become a liability. She was increasingly difficult to work with, and we got tired of being treated like one of her johns. Her escorting was putting the company in a bad light, and it was decided not to renew her contract. Apparently, in certain circles at Adam and Eve, she was referred to as Miss Piggy after a story I did calling her the biggest pig in porn. Word is Adam and Eve will quietly let all of the current contracts expire and get out of the contract girl biz altogether. Brie will no doubt become popular again in the Gonzo market, but it may come as a shock to her how much the rates have dropped. She will do just fine, but once the novelty of her Adam and Eve contract wears off, work at high rates may be difficult for her to find. The truth is, Brie Olson, you don't regret having chosen the path into porn. From my perspective, the path into porn was what Jesus Christ and God meant for you to do, specifically so that you can come now to the masses and tell the truth about what porn really is and the fact that porn is sex trafficking. The majority of active porn stars are available to the general public as sugar babies, escorts, and prostitutes through agencies such as the Luxury Companion and Affluent Concierge. Visit PornStarHookerAlert.com for further details about the criminal activity these agencies are involved in. Now I'm going to read to you Bray Olson's own words from The Daily Dot. Brie Olson's Untold Story. 
My name is Brie Olson. I'm a former porn star, and since retiring, I remained silent. Silent about being discriminated. Silent about being segregated. Silent about being threatened. Silent about being depressed, humiliated, and disgraced. The things I talk about in Real Women, Real Stories filming project are brief. Real Women, Real Stories by Matan Uziel brings awareness to critical issues that millions of women face every day. As a result of many different factors, however, many of them will never come forward to get the help they need. They will remain silent, like I did for so long. I hope that because I shared a bit of my story through Real Women Real Stories, others will have the courage to use their voices too. I won't stay silent anymore. I choose to speak up. When I got into the industry at 19, I was experimenting sexually. I found it fascinating. I was a full-time student at Purdue University studying pre-med biology and also had a full-time job as a telemarketer. I flew out to LA just to try it and was very shocked at the money to be made. I decided to drop out of school eventually and make the most I could. I saw nothing wrong with being open with my sexuality and my family and friends supported me. I never lived in LA the entire time I even did porn. I flew there for work and carried on here in Indiana with what people would consider a very typical Midwest lifestyle. It wasn't until I decided to leave the industry at 25 that I realized how much society was judging me. I had always pushed them out of my mind because I had gotten sucked into the media frenzy I was exposed to the masses and it killed me to see how they thought of me. I left a career where I made millions and tried to gain respect. I pushed and struggled for years. People looked at me as if I am the same as a sex offender. They look at me as though I am less than in every way and assume the absolute worst in every way. I had never realized how progressive my mind was and how scared people were of sexuality until this. I also realized that I could never go back and be a nurse or a teacher or work for any company really that can fire me under morality clauses for making customers feel uncomfortable because of who I am. There are no royalties in porn. I see ads to this day and my movies are everywhere on the internet. These faceless people behind the industry still make millions and face no repercussions and I am left to try and come up with ideas of how I can have my own business because there's not much else I can do. We are the only entertainment industry that doesn't offer talent royalties after they are gone. So now I am shunned by society and broke. I've had people recognize me off just my voice alone. Porn is the one industry where the more successful a woman is, the more she will suffer for the rest of her life. My biggest regret was leaving the industry, leaving all of that money and trying to get the world to like me. They still don't, and they never will. I should have just put in another five years at least so that in more my smart financial years as I was older, I could have saved enough to live comfortably for the rest of my life. People hate me, and if they knew me, I'm one of the nicest people they'd ever meet. It's a shame. It's a shame for everyone. My message to young girls is to be careful. Things don't just work themselves out when you get into, into the industry or leave it. You become a segregated part of society that has no civil rights group behind it. Life is already hard enough. Don't do this to yourself. The money isn't worth the pain of what society will put you through forever. And there's nothing wrong with porn, but how people treat you. The reality is, if Brie Olson thought that there was really nothing wrong with porn, she'd still be doing it. She's not. But she's scared of the porn industry, which is why she will not place blame upon the porn industry as being the problem. I do want to read to you, again, Luke Ford's words in regards to the porn industry's stance on opposition to porn. And the porn industry will go as far as to create their own controlled opposition, which is what I believe they are doing with Brie Olson at this moment. The major reason for the lack of reflection from within the industry about its product and its discontent is that it's against the pornographer's self-interest 
to grant any credibility to opposition to porn. Few persons with soul and option stay in jobs that they despise. Therefore, persons in all sorts of well-paying jobs learn to believe in what they do. For not only do our beliefs shape our type of work, but our work shapes our beliefs. Lawyers, for example, appear to have inner peace doing things such as pleading innocent for a client who murdered. That would keep many, if not most persons, awake at night. I learned that. There are some things that no matter how open-minded you are, other people will never be and that you shouldn't do. I definitely think that it's time for people to respect sex workers and respect women in all in total. Absolutely. <sighs> and again, it's not society. It's the porn industry itself. It's the individuals within the porn industry who stalk you after you leave. It's the individuals within the porn industry who try to sex traffic you back in because the reality is that a woman like Brie Olson, who the porn industry has put millions into via marketing, is worth quite a bit of money on the open market as a prostitute. That's the truth of it all. I came from the adult industry, but then I transitioned into the mainstream industry, but I encountered a lot of issues with uh, my transition and people not accepting me into the mainstream world. Companies are allowed to turn you down for work because of anything they want and you, you know they have morality clauses. Another thing that I want Brielson to realize in regards to society having a problem with her, um, what society has come to realize is that every porn star who does go into mainstream is essentially a recruitment piece for the porn industry to draw in thousands, if not millions, of more girls utilizing the lure that, hey, do you want to be a mainstream Hollywood act actress? Well, then all you got to do is a little bit of porn. And as we know, and actually as you specifically know, Brie Olson, once you do porn, you can never really do mainstream. And once you do porn, um, the porn industry itself does feel that it owns you forever. But to the public and to Brielson specifically, I want to tell you a secret. Don't believe the lie that once you do porn, you can never leave because that's not true. It is hard to leave and the porn industry itself does not want to let you go. But you can leave, but there's only one way out and that way out is with Jesus Christ by your side. May God be with you, Brielson, and may God be with all of you who are watching me. Have a good day.